Welcome back everybody, it's me, Z, and I'm back with another GTA 5 video. Today I got a really cool glitch for you guys, it's going to show you how to bypass the wait time uh, in between selling import-export vehicles, okay? Really sick glitch, uh, really easy guy, uh, so make sure you take advantage of this shit. If you do the, the method I showed you the other day on how to get a solo lobby, now you can sell these bitches back to back to back without having to wait for the time limit. As you know, there's a 20 minute time limit between selling import export vehicles. This method is going to show you how to bypass that time limit, guys. And you can sell these cars back to back. Um, I also recommend that you have your spawn location on the closest garage or the closest apartment to your vehicle warehouse, okay? So that way there's hardly no time driving. Start this glitch off, guys. All you want to do is go to your vehicle warehouse, um, get on your computer, and export a vehicle. Okay? Now you can invite your friends in each time you do this, each time you do this, uh, and they can help you. So you can do four vehicles at a time and sell them all for back to back to back, guys. Very easy glitch, very simple. Alright, guys, so just go ahead and source a vehicle like this. Uh, as you guys know, I don't do work in games, uh, so went out of my way to show you guys this glitch for all you guys that's trying to make money legally and uh, sell this import export vehicles uh, this is gonna be for you guys and it's gonna help you guys out the most so please subscribe if you're new smash the like button I really appreciate it alright so just go ahead and mod out the vehicle and uh, as you know once you get done modding out the vehicle just go ahead and drive it to the location Okay, so when you get to the location and the vehicle is delivered, uh, you're going to get your payout money. And right here, this is where you would want to do the glitch. But I went all the way back to my warehouse just to show you guys that you had a timer. Okay, and I know you guys are aware that you had a timer, but I wanted to show you, you know, that I wasn't cheating. So I went back over to my warehouse to show you that I had a timer, okay? As you can see, I flew back over here in my chopper um, just to show you guys you had a timer. But after you deliver that vehicle, that's where you would want to do this glitch. So that way you don't even have to come back over here until you do the glitch. And you can just start over. You can save all kinds of time. Uh, you don't have to wait, guys. So what I did is I went back into my office here just to show you guys you do have a timer. Uh, it's usually a 20-minute timer. Um, as you can see, when I got back over here, it was on 16 minutes. So that means it took me four minutes after I deliver the vehicle to get back over here, okay? All right, so here's your timer right here, guys, as you can see. All you want to do if you're on PS4 is just go ahead and go to YouTube or any other app and suspend your GTA application. And once you do that, you are going to load back into a session. Not sure if you guys can suspend your app if you're on Xbox One. Uh, so if so, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so if you, like I said, PS4, just suspend your app after you deliver the vehicle and you get your money. Suspend your app, have your last location, uh, your spawn location set on the closest garage to your warehouse, okay? The closest apartment to your warehouse, so that way you can do it as fast as you can. Um, when you load back in, guys, all you want to do is just go straight back over to your warehouse. And you can see I loaded in here and I just skipped through this back to my warehouse now um, it took me about two minutes to load back into the session all right so two minutes to load in plus the time to get to your warehouse probably five minutes total guys uh, so it's gonna save you a lot of time and like I said as you see now when I come in I do not have a timer anymore uh, for the vehicles uh, so I am able to sell vehicle right away again by using this method Okay, like I said, after you deliver the vehicle, guys, at that point, that's when you want to suspend your application, and that is when uh, you want to load back in and go back over and resell 
do another M4 export vehicle and resell, guys. Hope this video helps all you guys that's doing this M4 export shit, man. Please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new, guys. Because I'm your boy, bringing you the latest GTA 5 content. And I'm out. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Peace.